<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> We're back at Dream Daddy. My favorite game in the world at this moment. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna continue where we left off. As per usual. So we got some mail. A nice mail person slides a couple letters in a large... Blah, 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 blah. Already starting with the mess ups. A large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. That's what she said. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I like the knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda. She yells to the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. All right. Immediately, Amanda pushes open the door. Ooh, let's see what's in your room. Where are you hiding the... Horn Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. <laughs> Father, please. I <laughs> hand the envelope. She tears it open with the teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of the envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. Ah. And the suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. Mm. I can't believe this. Oh, honey. It's okay if you didn't. Yay! I got it! Yo, good for her. Oh, I got it. I better toss the letter aside and give you a big hug. That's my girl. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student, you know the interview, and your photography is incredible. Oh no. Oh, Dad. Uh. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Maine applied to, but I know she had a heart set on the longest time. But I know she had it. But I know she had a heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Hmm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugged me again. Yes. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Your choice. Wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever. Amanda and I walk the wayside, tearing into our foil wrapperitos from the nearby food truck. Fuck yeah. You could have just anywhere from Maple Bay. The cost is not a determining factor. Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple gal. Give me a readout and a view. I can't say I'm mad. A man and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. All right. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby. With, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID. And Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. I know. I'm just excited. <laughs> Did I mention the students get their own studio space when they're seniors, and we all get the professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic by HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of a burrito. <laughs> I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. <laughs> I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You can take a survey online and match you with somebody with similar major and interests. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Hopefully. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. Possibly more, depending on how this goes. Don't even get me started on bad roommates. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I'm just kidding, we didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story <laughs> about a new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough and sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl rolled. Hey. Oh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. <laughs> I think I'd get a rabbit, maybe a snake or both. <laughs> Would the snake eat the rabbit though? Oh boy, I think I'll leave that out to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her. I need to be real for a second. So you know I had the talk with Mr. Vega? Hmm. He didn't tell me about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Hmm. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park in the last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need to get that scholarship money. I know you can do it. <laughs> okay, I promise I'll try harder. Oh, she's like crying. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's going to be some treacherous icebergs to cross. And don't even get me started on paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it to see you. Oh! 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 My eyes immediately well up with tears. Hmm. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Bitch, you look like you were too! <laughs> Shut up! 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up and now you're such a good person. I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> I, Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste bad. <laughs> it's going to add some salt to it. Duh. I pull Amanda in for a hug and a kiss on her forehead. Mm. Love you, kiddo. <laughs> Love you too, Pops. Welcome. You've got dads. <gasps> Craig. Hello, Amanda's dad. <laughs> it's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. <laughs> I have I have nice and smart children who are good at computers. Oh, man. <laughs> Great to hear that from you, buddy. What's up? I'm still strong. Strong? Strong. I am strong. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know it. Say, I've been reading up on some protein. Hey, I've been reading up on some about whey pro. Hey, I've been reading up about whey protein. Use it at all? I figured it helped develop a bit more muscle. Yeah, I know what it is. My children are having a tea party and they wanted to invite Manda, but I can't find her on here. You're also invited. Physical invitation to follow. Cool. I'd love to come. I'll let Manda know. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda's dad. You get to choose if you don't want to. Hell yeah, I'm going. Fuck it. I love Craig. Coffee time. You know, Dad's love coffee. I'm gonna brew myself something black as midnight on the moon this night. What? I'm gonna brew myself something black as midnight on the moon this night. I brew a fresh pot and work on a few word jumbles while I wait for it to brew. When do I physically go to work? Like, do I work? What do I do? Hey, this one smells sorrow. Dad, you ready for today? Ready for every day, sweetie. We gotta tackle it head on. No, are you ready for that thing we're gonna do today? The thing that you promised you do? Honey, I already told you, I'm not gonna throw away my Tom Clancy novels. They're just stacked in the living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over and you don't even read them. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. The tea party. Nope, I don't remember that. <laughs> Craig's kids, the hand-drawn invitation. And Meta walks over the refrigerator and comes back to the hand-drawn invitation with a sheet on a sheet of computer paper, inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to tea party. <laughs> so cute! They spelled uh, quarterly? Is that quarterly? <laughs> Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going. <laughs> I can go outside in sweatpants, nothing's stopping me. <sighs> Dad just... Ugh, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Yo! <gasps> okay. I'll be nice. Hmm. Oh, they're cute! Hello! Thank you for coming to our tea party. <laughs> I do my best bow and present my daughter, who thanks him with a curtsy. This way, please. They're really fucking cute. Briar and Hazel re lead us to a small table of tiny chairs. Some are occupied by stuffed animals, and Matt and his daughter, Kermanista, are here too. Matt raises a comically small plastic teacup at me. Hey, dude. <laughs> How's the tea? Hey. The imaginary tea is simply wonderful. It's okay, I <laughs> that's a whole different word. <laughs> The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful, with a taste of hit and lemongrass. I taste a hit of lemongrass. Lemongrass. Hello, Carmenista. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. <laughs> Please have a seat. I sit down between Amanda and Matt. Mm. I don't think a baboon would get out of this chair. Oh. Hi, everyone. Ah. I turn to see Daisy and Bright into the backyard. And take a seat next to us. Everyone's so cute. I turn to see Daisy and Brian into the backyard and take a seat next to us. Sorry we're late. Daisy and me put on going outside pants. Same! Hmm. Amanda gives me a knowing look and I return with a blind, obliging link. Amanda gives me a knowing look and I return an obliging link. She rolls her eyes. Hmm. Is that... Is that really something your daughter has a pressure you into, Brian? I give another, more exaggerated wink. <laughs> she rolls her eyes even harder. <laughs> Thank you all for taking your time out of your busy schedules for some high tea. Now, if you all put on your designated tiaras. Uh. They're little tiaras sitting at everyone's plate. Well, except for Brian's. He's a softball helmet. <laughs> Yo! We had the tiaras. Hey. I don't think it's going to be able to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Dad, you're royalty. Please act like it. <laughs> Brian tries to... <laughs> Brian tries to balance an ill feeling softball helmet on top of his head, but it immediately tumbles off and into the bushes. Hey. I'll get that later. Hey, everybody. Craig comes out with the teapot and 
a tray of sandwich cookies. Dad, is the tea ready? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's been a, it's steeping for a while now. Awesome. Oh. Would you girls like to serve your guests tea? Oh, thank you. We'd appreciate our severance help. <laughs> Craig leaves over to me. Mm -hmm. That's me. <laughs> Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie on each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Mm -hmm. Awfully fluorescent for tea. I clink my teacup with Matt's and take a sip. Hey. Good lemonade. It's tea. Hey. Right. Very good tea. <laughs> I like what Amanda who's happily enjoying your tea. So... What are we gonna do at tea? What do we do at tea parties? Hmm. We enjoy the splendors of upper class society, father. <laughs> she takes a dainty bite for sandwich cookie. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Yo. So the meeting of the princess has been called to order. Huh. Here, here. <laughs> but I'm a warrior princess. I hunt and stuff, and I have, like a really cool sword. Hmm. Can I be a space princess? I'll allow it. <laughs> and I'll be a rockstar princess. <laughs> And I'll also, be, I'm also a space princess. <laughs> Can there be more than one? Mm -hmm. Space is pretty big, don't you think? I changed my mind. I want to be a space princess too. Mm. Dad, what are you? <laughs> Do I get to be a princess? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes me. Okay, I don't like any of these. Um, rude boy princess. Almost sounds like a boy band history channel ruler of all i am the rule of all i survey and what i survey is a 10-hour marathon of cupcake storage wars i don't think i've seen that one <laughs> a squad of professional bakers bid on an empty storage box and they have to make they have to bake a thousand cupcakes only using the ingredients of the storage unit yo i'd watch that that sounds terrible <laughs> oh it is <laughs> i think i'll be a landscaper and general contracting princess <laughs> <laughs> Barista princess reporting for duty. Bro. Hey everybody, cross my princess here. Yo, chill. Now, now, servant. Hmm. <laughs> if it were for the princess's uprising, it would be you serving me. We sip tea a little longer, and then the girls run off to fight dinosaurs and as rockstar print war. Wow, that's a lot there. We sip tea for a little longer, and the girls happily. What? Where am I reading that from? We sip tea for a little longer, and then the girls run off to fight dinosaurs as space rock star warrior princess, I think. They grew up so fast. Like, it was yesterday I was helping Amanda throw her own tea parties. Hmm. Did she make you a servant, too? You betcha. Company said it actually made me brew tea for hers. Pitfalls of owning a coffee shop. Oh. Pitfall, your custom buns are amazing. That hibiscus one you gave me a while back was choice. Hey. Oh, thanks. Ah. It's really nice the girls are getting along. It's really cute. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved to this community. Hey, yeah. Uh, Rare too. Amanda's been kind of a role model to them, you know? I hadn't realized. I don't even know if Amanda does either, but I guess they're right. All the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of the way to play with them. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> you better not... <laughs> you better... Wait, you better not proud dad cry at this tea party, Mitchell. <laughs> I brought extra road jumbles if anyone wants to kill some time while the girls play. They roll, the day rolls on and the girls get tuckered out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking pictures, promising that she'll send them the best ones later. We all clean up and help put away the tea sets and tables, then head out as Carmody, as Daisy and Carmody used to fall asleep on her dad's shoulder. Oh. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, History Channel Princess. <laughs> Yo. You want dinner? Nah, I filled up on cookies. Me too, I'm tired. Hmm. Dude, say, playing with a bunch of little kids who simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. Huh? <laughs> but in a good way? Like, but also, like, a kind of a scary way. How so? Huh. I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't want to let them down. Is it because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? What? I corrupted her dad. She secondhand smokes now. <laughs> well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Mm -hmm. Shucks, pops. I rough on Minnow's hair. Welcome. You've got dads. Is there another message coming in or something? No? Okay. Who do we want to pick today? I, I want to go back to Brian. Oh, wait, I actually want to check him out. Hold on. Oh, I got one heart. So that's mean I have two more dates? Okay. Can I... Okay, there's the back. I kind of want to go on a date with Craig or... I want to check out Robert. Robert. 
<laughs> Yo, he's he's got some bad boy vibes. On a Friday night, you're most likely to make a deal in an alleyway, have it go badly. Who's the cops? Was it Giacomo? Giacomo? I don't fucking know. If you had to bring one thing to the desert island, what would it be? A gun. <laughs> what are your turn odds? Don't talk to me. <laughs> Same. Let's see what Craig is. Oh, okay. He is definitely a meathead. Yeah, he is definitely a frat boy. I'm gonna message him. I wonder what Craig's up to today. Navigate the Craig's die book page and type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor? <laughs> Let's catch up on like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear ding at the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man. <laughs> Let's definitely hang on so Might be a little different for old weekend long benders, but it'd still be fun. Just change a couple more messages before we prep for the game. See if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Banda. Open the door and Amanda's sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? A collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at the collage. It's a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. Mostly dogs, yeah. <laughs> Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Do you want to go? Hmm. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all that gear and you took me to the first game and someone hit a wall towards me and I, and I just ran off on the field crying? And then he hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. Uh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a giant... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you are a gigantic sentient softball. <laughs> so does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's go. <laughs> Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field for, for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. We claim out the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Dad. So when did the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with the softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids crying, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of... <laughs> not because I take the joy out of... <laughs> not because I take joy out of children fighting for my music. Eh? Definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run to the field. I see... I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. I see Craig by the dugout with a clip... I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has rubber strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot? Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's Maple Bay flapjacks against pine blood ocelots. Go flapjacks? Hi. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up. <laughs> How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that balls are relatively hard, despite their name. Hmm? But yelling is fun. <laughs> Give it a shot, it's cathartic. <clears throat> what are you willing to stack your friends to win? Keep your eye on the ball. And also eye on the bat. And also the outfield. Any other players? <laughs> Just keep your eye on all the stuff inside of this. <laughs> nice. We catch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained the team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Cakes and Craig is good with kids. Whoa. Uh. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Man, it dear. You have to let it go. Hmm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is at the bat. They hit a fly ball to the center field. The tiny little girl's trying to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and, and it hits her straight in the forehead. Ah. See, it's completely justifiable fear. The girl pops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forward and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field and she sobs. Man, I think it's strange. Man, I think it's strange about. It's strange to think about how this guy was, who once. It's strange to think about how this guy. It's strange to think about how this guy who once black flipped off a roof in into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes as the girl calms down a bit and we catch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up at this point. 
I see one outfielder eating a fistful of grass. <laughs> the better, the better are the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the tra trajectory in. Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. My eyes look over at Amanda's holding a softball, staring at it, staring at it in amazement. Whoa! I, I caught the ball! You saved me! Yeah! I caught the ball, Dan! I caught the ball! <laughs> you did it, Amanda! I faced my fears! I defeated the softball! I can do anything! I give Amanda. Amanda and I share a big hug. I don't think anyone was like, I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and team. Ha! The team ends. <laughs> the game ends in Craig's team are- I can't do it! The game ends in t Craig's t The game ends in Craig's team are declared victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Mm. Great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout and congratulate- we Walk over to the dugout and- We walk over to the dugout and- I need a minute. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Oh. Thanks for working hard all season. It's great to see it paying off. I'm proud of my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Brian and Hazel? We just did the tea party. Hey, killer playing out there. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? Which one do you use the evil one? Hazel. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Huh. Good looking out. Oh. <laughs> You guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all our math tests. I usually throw rocks at stuff. And when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. What? Mm -hmm. We will talk about this later. Mm -hmm. Mitchell, bro, I got a couple more things to clean up. Then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps to the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Hi. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration would be without a fearless leader? She lays her hand on the, his shoulder and gives him the goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. <laughs> River looks tired. Man, did I share a look? Huh? All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? Mom looks slightly put out but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Hmm. Where are we going? 30s pizza? What? Yeah. What? It's a real place. Uh, and in this room of girls clad in softball gear pile out of the minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Ben and I trail behind him with Craig. There's so much reading in this. It's hard for my pea brain to really get. <laughs> Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to just fold white? Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and eat and put? No, no, chill. I get it, you're a frat dude, but chill. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and put taco feelings aside? Ah, <laughs> pizza goes. How could I forever forget? How do we survive college? Uh -huh. Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic. We we're able to handle the toxic waste we put inside us. Good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games, eating greasy food. Man and I jump on a couple of slices of mediocre pizza. Oh. Hey, give me a piece of that. Ah. No, absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Dad! <laughs> a different mom looks up to us, talking to Craig if we weren't even there. As if we were even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to look after them. It definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been old since Daniel left. I'm glad my children have a strong, uh, strong role model, a strong male role model in their lives. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig, <laughs> Craig smiles sheepishly. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom, which I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Taxi brother Amanda. I give Amanda a no another knowing look and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. <laughs> Amanda puts her hand on her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Mm. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie, you're not gonna project a vomit ever, are you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna project a vomit everywhere right now. 
<laughs> the, the worst projectile vomit, and right now, usually seem to get everyone clear out, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> Fuck it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I drink, <laughs> I drink a lot of orange juice this morning, and I'm feeling pretty acidic. <laughs> You'll be fine. I mean, it shoots me a worried look. This cut is going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would know it's a fake pukes game. Hmm. Well, I guess it went away, and nothing's wrong. She turns it back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for a sleepover. Oh. Uh huh. They're pretty excited about it. You keep them out. You keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. But I could always use some help. Mom, chill, chill. I get it. He's hot, but chill. <laughs> but I could always use some help watching after everyone tonight. If you're not doing anything. Well, this lady's really going for the gold. Nice. It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Tail, shut down. Oh, Martha, <laughs> you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza in a coin slot. <laughs> Martha angrily turns her attention to her towards her daughter. River's blowing a bubble. <laughs> Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear, if I had to buy it, <laughs> Martha starts off towards a shit. Shit, 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 shit. Sam! Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Things takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! Oh. <laughs> Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew. <laughs> I think I finally have a chance to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Mm -hmm. Only days like today, I hope. Dad. Mm. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat the record on DDR? We told our Anna's dad that you could destroy them on dance mat. Please help. Oh. Girls, you know, I don't have my jukes anymore. But dad! Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise I'll catch up in a bit. It's all good. Craig runs off with his daughter's and left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might have to be a third wheel here. Oh. Oh, there's worse places to... There's worse places than an arcade to be left on your own design. There's worse places to be... There's worse places than an arcade to be left with your own devices. You're right. Wanna drop some... Wanna drop some coin on pinball? You're right. You wanna drop some coin on pinball? You know it. The minute I pull up on a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then a challenge I made at the top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. Hey, I was just trying to... I mean, it shushes me. She's in her sin zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just to be able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans up on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. <sighs> Please don't lean on my thing. Uh, that's so interesting. So you know if he's, like, available? Oh, honestly, I don't know if I could say. Hmm. Seriously gonna make me tilt. It's just because, uh... It seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he... Hmm. Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, the buzzer sounds the game's over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. What? You stone Harvey. What? Ugh. I said, I don't have to go... <laughs> I said, I have to go over there and... I have to go over there now and put pizza on my house so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Hey! <laughs> Bro. What's going on? Huh? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here, we're stuck here for the rest of the night. I bring them in and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out with pizza. We head out of the pizza place finally. <laughs> I better promise that she should keep the couch warm for me when she heads home. <laughs> she was about to beat the shit out of that lady. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind me bringing me up. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. No, I'll do. Let's finally be able to get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost to myself. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> He's blowing a bubble again! Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls up two gloves and softball. Oh. Up for some catch? This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Huh? Yeah. Uh. I have a cooler in my car that we can grab. There's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Mm -hmm. You're telling me I can't believe I'm looking back in my case in Craig days and reminiscing about it. This is some good old times. I don't think anyone else could... <laughs> I don't think anyone else who... 
I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg sand. Mm -hmm. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't probably hung out with Craig in so long. I don't know where to begin. I can't believe you're a father of three. Mm -hmm. Neither can I. You know me. <laughs> I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids, when Brian and Hazel were born, it finally all made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out leads to them. I couldn't be happy about it. I don't think I... I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact feeling when I was born. It was like the best thing that ever happened to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me and I would still be proud of the life I lived. So you're in business now? Nice. Yep, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. Athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd made a killing. Hmm. If you're any athletic gear, I got your back. You can sponsor me. I'll, I'll rip your athleisure wear bed while I mow my lawn. Oh. That is the that is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to. Yes. So is softball is softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that thrust upon you? Oh. <laughs> I'll admit it was. Hes I was hesitant at first. Brian and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to keep them in the sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did, the more I did it, the more I saw, the more I did it, the more, the more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the other girls. I'm worried that, I'm worried that'd be a right if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. I... They're quick, and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. <laughs> they take you down to the back of Velociraptors on the T-Rex. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. <laughs> it's nice to hear. Quiet. Must be getting away from the Spawful Monster a bit, huh? I don't know. Christ, Janet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot. <laughs> Are they always like that? Nice. <laughs> Actually, this one, this wasn't nearly as bad. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? I don't know. Oh. Peace and quiet. That's hot. Hot silence. Hey! My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping on a Saturday. Hmm. Yo, same. <laughs> but seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even, I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Hmm. And it feels so uncomfortable trying to be true to a stranger to my girls' lives. They've already been through so much and I can't put them, I can't them, I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. Oh. So, the mons can hit on me as much as they want, but the girls are my top priority. Those kids love you. And to add to it, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. That means a lot coming for you. Well, I'm distracted. I missed the softball line. It hits me straight in the head. <laughs> well, that hurts. <laughs> I meant it was right all along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Craig runs over to me. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do that dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. I don't know. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Hey! You would be so lucky. <laughs> that was planned. You probably don't teach... You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. I still got it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they'll learn that in high school. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hmm. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, huh? Nice. I hate to admit it, but probably should head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start working back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Bro! How could I forget? You and me hopped over the concrete wall to get away. But on the other side of the fence was the parking lot and a bunch of cops were parked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Can you imagine the look on their faces? We just walked straight past them like we're <laughs> for a stroll. <laughs> And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big the bus was. <laughs> we had to talk to them for 30 minutes. You told them you're interested in joining the academy. Hey! And they started giving me pointers at the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Me in college. Hmm. Go days, right? We go back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much as I can imagine, with a baby between us. Oh. Never mind time, huh? Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me get it to you. We'll hang soon. I like that. 
Ayana walked through the door, spotting Amanda, hunched over to her collage, glue stick in hand, burning the midnight art oil. Burning the midnight art oil. <laughs> Figured I might do something productive between episodes of the Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Do the sharks lip sync or do Shark Hunters lip sync? <laughs> yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at the good stuff. Look at the good art you made. <laughs> Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still all dogs. <laughs> one of the core, <laughs> and one coin is a giant pile of cash, and the other it's Amanda. Is that me? Hmm? Yep, the whole thing's about the goals of the future. Those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with twenty dogs, and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, and you, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Oh, oh, dad, you did this with your good art. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Hmm. Okay, how was your, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. The Craig guy sure is busy. Hmm. Yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. <laughs> I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How about tomorrow we hit the empty parking lots and start... How about tomorrow we hit the empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Oh. Baby steps, Dad. I'll, <laughs> I'll work my day way up to it. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of... Take care of the late night television for me, all right? I'll let the noise say hey. That was a cute date. That was really cute. That was a great day. Damn right it was. <laughs> I think this is where we're going to end it here today. Um, That was cute. It was cute. I have to say that, but if you guys like everything going on so far, uh, leave a like, comment, <laughs> and subscribe for more, of course. Um, I plan on finishing this out to the end, and coming up soon, I will be live streaming. So if you guys are interested on that, go ahead and turn on the bell notification or follow me on my Twitch down below. Um, I will see you guys there. Thank you.